Yo, what is going on, everybody? It is your boy Sonny here, coming at you guys with another Neverwinter video. Now, before we jump into this, this video is going to be a little bit different here on the channel. I am going to be going over the comments you left in the Neverwinter scaling video. If you did not see that, make sure to go ahead and check it out before you go ahead and watch this to make sense a little bit better. So, I wanted to do this video to kind of break down your guys' comments and hear what you guys thought about all the skill and that's going to be coming to Neverwinter up in my 19, I believe now. So yeah, without further ado, let's just jump in. <clears throat> Starting off, all these comments are going to be on screen, so if you could just be chilling along with them. Here we go, Jeff. Sounds like a good thing. A real come up. The current skilling can be a bitch to dial in if you don't have the older gear still. Sounds like the new skilling will work off the total item level and operate more directly. Maybe easier to get your stats right. Kind of hope Rainer pokes around on preview and breaks it down for us. <clears throat> so quickly... Now I'm just going to go over it real quick. Yeah, I mean, definitely the old way is a pain in the butt. It's harder. It's unnecessary. Like, even for the CTA events, if you're 80, and, you know, not even being maxed out, it's still, like, you just feel so much weaker and so much underpowered. And, yeah, hopefully Rainer does poke around. Shout out Rainer, the math guy, man. Or, you know, he's more than just a math guy, but, you know, he's known for his freaking work that he be doing so moving on we have two different comments here that I'm going to be putting up on the screen make scaling optional that's the only thing that would do to make everyone happy but the devs are simple minded so I imagine this won't happen <laughs> um now to see the problem making it optional is the, you're right it'd probably just be a little bit too much work but at the same time they that could possibly happen down the road you never know um I could see it as like if you had a pre-made five set of group, then you can go in there and you wouldn't be, you know, uh, you know, underscaled or underpowered or anything. You would just go in with the five people you had and it would still be public because you want the rough diamonds and stuff like that. Obviously, you could do a private, but the main reason you want go into those underscaled levels is the public queue for the daily trial dungeon, etc. So maybe that could be an option. Um, you never know. That's why I wanted to make this video as well and kind of give them a video on here on YouTube as a platform instead of maybe looking through all the comments. You never know. You never know. who They might see this video. A thousand plus hours in shouldn't feel like your first few hours on the game. I can respect that. The only thing with that one is, like, make it optional. You know what I mean? That could kind of work together. Moving on to the next one real quick. He says, bravo, I like being overpowered at lower maps. I earned all that work for nothing. I like the way <clears throat> it is. I don't want to be scaled down, sorry. Uh, I, I I know what he's saying. I know what he's saying, but he's also, for some spots, yeah, you still don't feel that as strong as a pop, like pop, uh, being scaled down. I'm trying to say how I want to figure this out real quick. <laughs> but, yeah, in terms of that one, I know where he's coming from because in certain zones you don't feel the big difference. But when you start hitting some of the events and some of the lower level dungeons, you definitely feel a difference. So I can understand where he's coming from. Maybe he hasn't ran um, some of the lower stuff. Moving on to, you sound like you want this to be a good thing. But I think it will be bad. Nobody wants scaling, so they should just get rid of it. They just scale because they're too lazy to make new dungeons. I have a bad feeling about this. Well, you never know. I do want it to be a good thing just because scaling now, it's it sucks. <laughs> so something's better than nothing in my eyes. So yeah, I just want something to be better. You know, I, they're saying off the rip, it's not going to be perfect. So we already know. As long as it's just a slight improvement, I'm good with that. Now... For this last comment we're going to be going over. Shout out to Nick Flo. First, I think they did a poor job at explaining it, LOL. So we are stronger in lower zones and dungeons or not. LOL. Right? Yeah, they still didn't answer that. But shout out to this guy right here. Uh, I'm probably going to say, I'm not, I'm not I'm going to butcher your name. He says, if you have 90k stats at 27k item level, you are scaled down to 57k for your stats. 
Combat advantage is scaled from 140k to 90k. So most of your stats are capped, but CA is under cap. Base weapon damage no longer gets scaled down, which is good. You still have more stats by just unequipping gear until you are under the scaled item level. Then here, Jeff answers, what is the baseline in the example you gave you uh, give above? Like, what is the eye level rating it's scaling down to? He says right here, 17K is the lowest item level scales you down for the level 70 content, such as Epic, Cragmire, Crypts, and Valindra's Towers. I've tested this in every dungeon. For all the dungeon, it scales you down to the same stats, so it's an improvement over the current system. As long as you are capped for Mod 19, which is 90K, 140 you will still be scaled down to most stats at 57k and combat advantage at 90 higher scaled item level areas leave you with higher stats tomb of the nine scales you to 18k <clears throat> and most of the stats there are scaled down to about 60k oh so that right there kind of was an answer so shout out to this guy right here i don't i'm I apologize i don't know how to say your name but that's a pretty solid answer right there as to what we could expect so thank you to the guy who tested that out for us he says he went through every dungeon so i'm going to take his word for it that sounds like he knows what he's talking about so i appreciate that so everybody out there you know that's kind of what we could expect as to what's coming so an answer that's an answer Imagine Cryptic would have came out with something like that, but hey, that's why I wanted to make these videos as well Because you guys are doing some of the work out there for Cryptic and we got to give you a platform to speak on as well Well last comment well then endgame dudes will be even more OP in low zones That's what the community wanted after all I'm by no means high But I have decent stat well balanced and overall item levels of 26.5k and I can face roll the lower content, so I imagine the high end players can do it with one hand and blindfold. Yeah. No, it's actually not going to be the end gamer is going to have because everybody's just going to be scaled down to the max if you have the stack cap. So, you know, the only exception may be power. Um, I'm not sure if there's going to be a cap on power, but I could see where that could be an issue. But, guys. That is going to be it for this video. A little bit different style here, you know, switching it up here on the channel. But hopefully you guys enjoyed. We got an answer, though. So if you made it to the end, um, let me know down in the comments what you think. Are you ready? Are you not ready? Anyway, guys, it has been your boy Sonny here, and I will check you guys out on the next one. Peace out.